What up, Super Fun Force? We're going to open up my Digimon Adventure Magna Angemon. So, as you know, um, you know, Digimon's like a retro cartoon. It's similar to Pokemon because you have these little, you know, kind of digital monsters uh, where the kids in the uh, very first retro anime, I believe it was 1999, 2000, uh, they, they find a way to enter the, uh, the digital world of the internet, which was just starting to, you know, take off. So uh, they kind of saw it as like this virtual dimension where these other creatures and spirits and beings actually, you know, resided and lived in. And the kids go on this adventure to, you know, get, get there, you know, fight the enemies, whatever, you know, help the uh, good Digimon and, you know, escape. Uh, and it was a fun cartoon. I actually watched it, you know, um, not like super detailed, but I watched it a couple of months ago. Uh, the beginning of the year because I also play the trading card game. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, TCG Metaslea, um, still, still definitely doing a lot of work on that to build it up, but um, I'll be getting into more of a groove on that soon. But yeah, I decided to uh, pick up at least one action figure based on it. Um, I do like uh, I do like Omega Mon, but I don't know if I wanted to pick up the figure. And I also think uh, Metal Guru Ramon is cool. Uh, but I do like the theme of this character here, like a Holy Knight. So I was like, might as well get him because it was super cheap. I think it was like 60% off and these two are still normal. I think they retail for around like 10 to $14. So that's why I decided out of these three, when I saw this guy go on sale for like $5 or something, I was like, okay, I'll give this one a go and let's just see how the, the quality is and what they're like. Uh, and then, if, you know, if anything, I can watch out for the other two. But yep, we're just gonna open this up. Oh yeah, and you see the box here. Nothing, nothing too special. It's just, um, you know, it's actual photos of the character. So that's cool. Uh, I know I got the Bondi sticker here, the Toei. Uh, or the Toei animation sticker, the Bandai logo here, uh, telling us there's no gum or candy because it probably looks like one of those figures that you get as a prize when you buy Japanese candy and stuff like that. So I'm not going to really keep the box for this one, uh, but let's just get right into it. Uh, kind of interesting how they double it up here as normal. And then, wow, they tape it. And then they put them in a bag or something. Oh, that's weird. I think it's a little bit too much plastic, a little excessive. Kind of a waste. All right. And he fell over here. Sorry about that. Okay. Whoa. This guy looks cool. Um, I'm wondering what his articulation is going to be like. It's very small. I almost wish that they were all like $5 because then at this point, I think they look cool enough to get as, uh, you know, even mini. They're like in this weird, this weird scale where they're not quite like miniature retros but they're like smaller than gi joe's right because like a gi joe's like 375 probably around here and then there are figures that can go like four inch 4.5 but either way it still looks cool um a lot of nice detail actually i'm surprised yeah there's there's a good amount of detail here you know the gold paint apps look great silver the white and then yeah as you can see here the purple blade the wings on it and then that uh you know the purple kind of like gem inside which is i think it's just part of the sword and uh, no i think it's a separate piece but yeah then you got these gold sashes there's the back got the guy got the ponytail i like how he has those wings coming from the side of his mask you know and he kind of has like a, a cross thing um it's you know it's not really and the thing is it's longer at the top because the helmet goes upwards right but it's like you know anyways um looks cool then he has like some random inscriptions on his gold x and you know also runs across his chest there and he has all these wings so they fold around although oh these are connected so this can actually pop off they're just connected with a little you know the standard port pagan port so yeah the head turns you know it's a little limited because the hair in the back um the arm is funny because it's on this like ball joint but as you can see it like turns this hand this one is kind of hidden so it's this one is like dark but you can see right there it's a little bit darker but he has the purple um you know purple shoulder pad that like goes down and then it's basically the same it's just this this arm is white but they're the same and as you can see here it's like a ball that can rotate and then it also has like the, you know, it has like the two, uh, the two balls like this that can like, you know, move up and pivot that direction, just like the knee. 
So you can look at the knee and see it there. See, it has the ability. There's two pieces in there. Boom, boom. And then also just like kind of rotates like a ball. And then the feet can go up and down. So this is actually pretty good rotation-wise. Uh, the posing is still going to be a little tricky again because like, you know, this sword here hits the wings, shoulder blade, the head can't really turn because of the mask, uh, and then the hair. But, you know, you can still hit some pretty interesting poses because of the legs. You just got to be careful around the waist. But again, you can, again, you can pop these wings off here. Yeah, just like, as a matter of fact, you could probably pop them off the back as well, but... No, I don't think. I think these are fixed. The ones on the back feel pretty solid and fixed. These ones, I can see the ports already that they're, that they can probably pop out-ish, but that's kind of difficult to put back. But there you guys go. I think it looks nice. Um, it doesn't have anything on the bottom of the feet, so you're going to have to use like a plastic stand to clasp their waist if you want to like make them fly or something like that, like jumping in action pose. Um, yeah, and you can't really twist the arm up because this wing here doesn't really move. So again, kind of strange. But other than that, it still looks cool. We just do some simple bends. You can hold it, right? Hold it, play with it a little bit, and then you just kind of have to stand it down when you're done, uh, like so. Cool. All right, guys, so there you go. There's Magna Andromon. Uh, just something to have. One keepsake of the Digimon characters just to kind of put on and, you know, display it or maybe carry it with me on my TCG battles. All right, guys, well, let me know what you think. Did you guys pick up the rest? I think I'll try to get at least Metal Garurumon, like I said, and... The other one, if uh, they also go on sale. All right, well, thanks so much for hanging out. Don't forget to keep your face, say your prayers, spread that love, be positive, be thankful. We'll be coming back at you. Peace.